a toxic invasive species that can be deadly if eaten is spreading, wrecking havoc across parks, flower beds and backyard gardens. Poison hemlock, which resembles Queen Anne's lace, can be spotted in highway right-of-ways, along fences and on the edges of farm fields. In just the last year, however, the plant that was originally brought to the U.S. from Europe has migrated near more populated areas, which has experts concerned. That movement is a bit scary to me because this plant is very toxic and it's more of an opportunity for kids to play with it and pets to eat it, said Dan Shaver with Indiana's Natural Resources Conservation Service. It is not a plant you want around your home or in your local park. The toxic biennial can be found in nearly every state in the U.S., according to the National Park Service. This is the time of year that poison hemlock spreads and grows its footprint. Each plant produces a lot of seeds, up to 30,000, that ripen between late June and August after it flowers. Those seeds are easily scattered during late summer mowing, Shaver said. It loves to find those little pockets that are unmanaged, whether that's a street corner not getting mowed or a pollinator habitat growing wild in a neighborhood. Poison hemlock also does well in moist soil conditions, Shaver said. So with the wet springs the Midwest has seen, it's been the perfect environment for the toxic plant to explode. It just hit this exponential rate of spread, Shaver said. Poison hemlock was nowhere and all of a sudden it was everywhere. Kevin Tungasvik, a senior ecologist with Ecologic, an environmental restoration company, said in Indiana, the plant has spread too broadly to be eradicated from the state. Short of that, he said, the goal is to try to manage and control poison hemlock to the maximum extent possible, to protect both environmental and public health. In June, Jason Hartshue of the Ohio State University Extension said the hazardous plant was appearing everywhere in Ohio, more visible this year than ever before. Here's what you need to know about this deadly plant, including the toxic effects it can have, how to spot it and how to get rid of it. Like any invasive species, poison hemlock can outcompete and displace native species, Shaver said, which certainly is of concern. But the real issue, in this case, is when it crowds into areas where people, pets or livestock could come into contact with it. All parts of the plant are poisonous from its seeds to the sap, said Don Slack with the Nature Conservancy's Indiana chapter. If the sap from poison hemlock comes into contact with someone's skin, it can react with the sun and cause blisters and welts, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. That's why Slack recommends handling poison hemlock, if there's some that needs to be removed, with gloves, long sleeves and pants as well as eye protection.